Hey Queens, coming your way. Live from the Hey Queens studios in Hollywood, California, it's Comedy Queens. Starring Julie Goldman, Lady Red Couture, Teddy Margaret, and now please welcome your host, Johnny McGovern. Hey Queen! Honey, welcome. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, everyone in between whatever your gender fluidity requires. Welcome to Comedy Queens. Let's hear it. (laughs) Honey, this is our showcase for the best in upcoming LGBTQ plus comics who are going to make you gay. Are we all obsessed with Snap fans like I am? Yeah. Honey, I cannot. I used to look at Karl Lagerfeld and be like, why does he always carry a fan? And now I know it is very useful, not just for the normal <laughs> keeping cool, but in a photo op, sweetie, it hides all your problem areas. Yes. If you're trying to make a point to your girlfriend, nothing better than a Snap fan. Girl, he is not right for you, girl. I'm telling you for real. Girl. Have you ever tried to cut in line a line full of straight people with a Snap fan is the way to do it. See that line? You put your hand out. Excuse me, straight people, run. (laughs) See you later, sweetie. And of course, if you're feeling sexy and want to feel like a restoration courtesan, (laughs) have you ever seen a calf like this? Gorgeous. But the most important thing about having a snap fan is, honey, when you take it out and snap, people know you are gay as fuck. Am I right? Oh, now, you know, some people say it's LGBT, some people say it's GLBT, but I'm pretty sure I know that it is LGBT, because, girl, you know that the lesbians showed up on time for the meeting where we voted for the order of the letters. They showed up on time, they were organized. They voted in a proper manner. Afterwards, they served a lovely salad of vegetables they grew in their own garden. (laughs) While sitting on a lovely quilt, they loomed. While singing folk songs about cats. (laughs) Meow. Cats are pussy. Oh oh my goodness, everyone, it's our bartender, Teddy Margus. Oh. Uh, Teddy, what luscious libation are you uh, fixing up for our audience tonight? Well, tonight's luscious libation is called The Size Queen. She's tequila, coconut milk, and nine inches of thick, juicy, uncut pineapple. (laughs) I she like a pinga colada. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be slurping on that all night long. Well, cheers to you. Yeah, and cheers I, to you cheers all. Cheers to everybody. You guys ready for another comedy queen? Lady Red, tell us who our next comedy queen is. Our next comedy queen is the ultimate lesbro. She's a recluse who loves long walks on the beach, sizzler, and cocaine. Please welcome the legendary lady gentleman, Mr. Julie Goldman. Hi, everybody. Here's what's going on. I am trying, I'm in a new phase of my life. I'm trying to be better. Okay, I'm trying to be best. (laughs) And... (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I want to be best like my husband, Donald. And I want to grow up. 
I'm like arrested development. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I always thought I was like a good person. You know, when you think to yourself, like they're the asshole. They're an asshole. Those people are assholes. They're narcissistic. They're jerks. They're self-righteous. They're judgmental. They're just assholes. And then you think like, oh, I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. And then you just go around and normally people just talk behind your back and then you never know that you're the asshole until your friend comes to you and says, you're an asshole. So because of that, I started therapy. Thank you. I got into therapy because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in the therapy. It's so hard. Is there anybody here in therapy? Yeah, because we're all fucking narcissistic pieces of shit. So I'm like, I'm, just, I'm sitting there. I'm with a guy. This is a doctor, whatever. I don't know what to do. It's awkward. I feel weird. I'm sure he feels weird. Or maybe I'm projecting. I don't know. So now I'm looking at him. We're looking at each other. I'm sitting there. I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, <sighs> so how are you? I don't know what, I don't care how he is. I don't actually care. I'm paying him. Why do I care, right? I should go in. I should walk in and go, here's how you feel. Tell me I'm thin. Health insurance. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's how that should go. That's how that should go. I want to walk out and feel amazing. But no, now I sit there and I'm like, oh, God, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to start. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, oh, doctor, can you just tell me something that, like, bad that happened to you maybe this week? <laughs> Like, what awful thing happened to you? And he's like, well, and he's Spanish, so he has an accent. So he's like, well, let me tell you. I don't know what accent that is. Uh, could be Italian, it could be French, it could be Mexican, I don't know. But I know that when I hear him talk, he sounds like my drug dealer. So, 50 minutes, okay? So, he goes, <laughs> it's always 15, it's never 15 minutes. It's always more than 15 minutes, you guys. So he, he's like, <laughs> so he's like, well, this happened to me and my wife. It's awful. It's horrible. It's awful. We go, we bought a new house on Mediterranean. Terrible. We had to go for extra week on the beach because the inspector went to house and the house wasn't ready. <laughs> no. I watched a homeless man poo on Hollywood and Vine, and I still felt inferior to him because he's a man. Do you understand? <laughs> so now I'm like, all right, the reason I have to get him talking is so that I can get him to talk about himself so I can interrupt and make it about me. Right? like we do at parties <laughs> in this town of Hollywood. Sorry, Canada. So he says to me like, okay, you know, you, we, we got the test back. You have a problem with being defensive. And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> also, you're ADD, you have problem focusing, you cannot, you get distracted. I was like, really? Are you serious? Is that true? Hold on, what time is it? Have you cleaned that? I need to buy shorts. I think my tampon's coming out. I have to call my mother. I want a new car. Like, do you know, what I, like I can't, so, okay, fine. So he says to me, you know, when you are trying to, you know, get yourself better, you also have to get sober because I have an addiction problem. So I've, I've gotten sober. Ish. Sober-ish, which means I just do less drugs <laughs> and drink less. Like I don't, I don't, uh, basically if I'm at a party and somebody offers the drugs, I'll do them. <laughs> I'll occasionally buy them. <laughs> and then with drinking, I just drink, le you know, I don't drink at home, I'll only drink at parties and at bars and at home. So basically, it's like, you know, 
It's like I'm soberish, but I'm still drinking, doing drugs. But what I realized is that when you're sober, you just are fatter and more enraged. So with being sober and this healthy living, I decided that I have to go all the way, okay? I want to drop some LBs. I want to be healthy. I want to be strong. So I went vegan. Now. Right? Yeah, vegan. Fucking, we're amazing. So I realized the thing with being vegan, that the, the, the key to being vegan is when you're vegan, the most important thing about being vegan is to constantly talk about being vegan. No matter where you are or who you with, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, hey, do you want to go watch the game? Well, I'm vegan. <laughs> Did you watch the Game of Thrones finale? <laughs> I was going to, but I'm vegan, so... <laughs> I was going to get triggered by everything, and I couldn't do it. So, you know what I mean? So the final thing is that people were like, you know what? Listen, and I, I say this to you. They say, don't worry, because I love meat. You're not going to miss meat. You're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it at all. It doesn't even matter. You're not going to miss it. You are. And you know what? I realize that they're right, because what I miss is cheese, okay? <laughs> what I miss is cheese. It's all about the cheese. I will take a fucking fake tempeh satay at the, every, any time of the day over a plastic, non-meltable, fake pizza. I cannot fuck. And then they're like, but yeah, but what about nature's yeast or whatever? Or whatever it's called. Nature, what's it called? Oh, nutri- It's that part of that cheese! <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Julie Goldman. <laughs> I love Julie Goldman. <laughs> I love Julie <laughs> Goldman too! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Have you guys had an incredible time tonight with our comedy queens? <laughs> and thanks to all of you from us here at Comedy Queens, we want to say... Bye, Bye Queen! Pineapple. Oh yeah. Pineapple. Oh yeah.